Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, yo, <laughs> I'm Caleb, and we're about to take a dive into my Bible. <laughs> the Bible is no ordinary book. It's a collection of 66 books filled with history, wisdom, letters, poetry, and adventure. Together, they paint a picture of the story God has been telling since the beginning of time. God created us and loves us deeply. Even when we turned our backs, God made a way for us to return to relationship. And in the end, God promises to right every wrong and heal everything that's broken. When we see how God has worked through time, we can have confidence that God is working in our story too. That's what real trust is all about. And I've got four stories to show us what it can look like. We get started in the very first book of the Bible, Genesis. Here, darkness has crept into the world. People have turned from God and chosen to live only for themselves. But in the midst of it, God calls a man named Abraham to leave his home and travel to a brand new land. God promises that through Abraham's family, the whole world will be blessed with God's love. There's just one catch. Um, Abraham and Sarah don't have any children yet, and they're already old enough to be great grandparents. Time to slide ahead a few chapters. And spoiler alert, now Abraham and Sarah do have a son, Isaac. Now, Isaac is living in the land God has promised, but neighboring tribes want him out. Three times herders steal water wells Isaac has dug. Isaac has plenty of men to fight back, so he's forced to choose engage in a brawl, or trust that God will provide in a different way at the right time. Let's move ahead two chapters. Isaac now has two sons, Jacob and Esau, and the conflict between them threatens to tear their family apart. Jacob finds himself alone on a journey into the unknown, and who can he trust? As night closes in, heaven opens up with a spectacular stairway toward an answer. We wrap up in Genesis 32. Here, Jacob prepares to face his brother Esau for the first time in many years. The brothers didn't part well. So when Jacob hears that Esau is approaching with 400 men, his stomach does a backflip. <laughs> now Jacob must choose to listen to his fears or call on the one person he can truly trust. Things may seem to be in constant motion around you, but when you look at how God showed up for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know you can place your confidence in God too. That's real trust. And I can't wait to see how it plays out in you and me.